Welcome back to another episode of my Ultimate Iron Man. Uh, right now, I am finally using up my chinchampas that I, that I got, what is that, two, three videos ago now? Uh, they've been sitting in my inventory for a while. Wasn't a huge issue because I spent the last two videos mostly doing agility, uh, mainly at the Hollowed Sepulchre. If you missed last time, we managed to get up to 96 agility, and now I'm a decent ways into 97 as well, just from doing even more. And then also I've just been, you know, grinding the mark to grace. We managed to get full dark graceful at the Hollowed Sepulchre. And I also got like boots and a cape earlier today, just of what I have been doing when I've AFKing. So agility has been slowly but surely going up. Uh, but biggest thing is I've actually got it on right now. I managed to get a ring of endurance, which is kind of like my main goal other than just agility XP and, you know, trying to learn the sepulchre. That's, I was hoping to get one before I got too burnt. Uh, and I did. So I want to go back into training hunter and do some herbivore just, you know, I mean, at this point I probably could go back to chinning and wouldn't be super burnt, but I, I was wanting to switch it up when I was tra training hunter before. So, uh, Herbivore is going to be the main thing we're working towards this episode. We'll see how much of it we actually get to do because um, I still have to use up all these chins. I had like seven and a half thousand and I'm only at like four and a half thousand right now. So I've still got a couple more hours of, uh, of being here. Uh, but in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I am actually training this for defense XP because I'm already 99 range. So of course I'm still getting range XP. I can't do anything about that. But I have them on the long fuse. And as you can see, we just got 97 defense uh, because our XP an hour is looking like uh, 216. I, I saw it get up to around like 220, 222K. Uh, an hour or so it is not bad at all as a method to train defense because i still need two more levels before we have 99 so i'll be here for uh, a bit i don't think we're quite gonna have how much do we have left until a mill left to go yeah i don't we're not really not gonna get 98 defense but we'll get at least over halfway i'm pretty sure if i'm if my quick math in my head while i'm talking is right um, you can see I also have been getting some prayer XP because I got the bone crusher with me, but you just annihilate charges here. And even then it's only like 20, 25 K an hour. So it's not that much, but Hey, I mean, we do want to get prayer up eventually and more immediately. I would like to have 85 for the desert diary before we go back to Caliphate Queen, which again is something that'll happen before I'd ever go for like 99 prayer or something. So I figured any little bit of prayer experience helps. I'd rather do this than just grind pest control, which is probably what we're going to have to do when we decide to go for prayer uh, anyway. But I don't think that's going to be a bad grind. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, for now, I will see you back in a minute for a prayer level. Oh, I hope I hit record in enough time there. Uh, but yeah, there's 83 prayer. The, the prayer levels are very like staggered here. Or any the levels, the XP, because it's like you get them delayed after you get a kill. It's, it's very strange. It comes in in chunks, but we got at 83 prayer. Uh, what is the, so I'm still 123.6. Okay, so not going to get 124 anytime soon. Decided to push it a little past my bedtime because I was like, eh, I don't want to have to go and like try and find a world tomorrow when I wake up and it's, you know, crowded and stuff. So last chin, there it goes, wrapping up with almost 1.3 mil XP in total for defense. And we also got like, I think 120K per XP. Yeah, so not too bad at all from like, I think like seven and a half thousand chins. So we probably need, but I think like maybe 10K chins. If we assume we want to go to, to 99 through chinning, which I could do, I don't know. That got a little click intensive there at the end. I, I'd be curious to see if there's a method where you can just like, you know, take it easy and full AFK other than sipping prayer pots. Uh, but that's something worth investigating. Uh, for now, I guess it's time to, uh, actually not quite for herbivore. We have another thing we need to get first. Still putting in work and agility, even though I'm uh, not focusing on it right now, but we're at uh, 1000 laps in total on the RD course, which is a lot considering we only started it within like the last month. So getting up there. And next stop on my do herbivore slightly more efficiently uh, checklist is, of course, Tithe Farm. Obviously, everyone guessed that. Uh, but no, you probably didn't need to guess too hard that I was going for the herb sack. I've actually never had one on any of my accounts. Uh, I never got there in any like my alts or got bothered to get one like the leagues or anything like that. So I don't have a ton of experience with it. I'm pretty sure the way it works is 
it can hold 60 of every type of herb, but maybe it's just 60 herbs in total. I don't know. Either way, it's a way to, you know, in slightly increase the amount of actual like hunting the herbivore you're allowed to do in an hour um, rather than like wasting time having to go to the tool leprechaun to note stuff. Uh, so it is, you know, when you're talking hours and hours of herbivore, it's definitely something I think is worth to get. Uh, and you can get it from Tithe Farm. Well, I don't love Tithe Farm. Uh, it is about time I go and get 99 farming, which, uh, spoiler alert, I mean, we we are going to get it. I've Well, I here's the thing. I've done the math. If I was here just for the herb sack, I wouldn't quite get to 99. We have like a little less than 300k left over. I've already gotten like 100k today from doing Tithe Farm. So if I was going for just the herb sack, I wouldn't get there. But the only other thing I'll have on the collection log from Tithe Farm that I haven't gotten yet uh, is the Gricoller's can, which is like the watering can that can hold a thousand charges. It's generally not very useful. Um, I think its biggest use is probably arguably in Tithe Farm. And even then, if you really want to do a lot of Tithe Farm, you're better off just being on Lunars, which I've done before. So you can do Humidify to just autofill all of your watering cans. And honestly, just filling them up manually like this does not like kill your time by any means uh but yeah that's the general plan i will get the herb sack and the can which will take me over 99 hunter or 99 hunter uh, 99 farming which again isn't the end of the world i don't care that much uh i don't like super care about going for ranks or anything past that uh, I do like the farming pet, and I did just see someone recently got it at Tithe Farm, even though I think it's an astronomically low chance to get the uh, the farming pet from Tithe Farm. You'd have to do, like, I think literally, like, you'd have to do, like, m like a million, like, harvests to, to, to have a somewhat decent chance uh, to get it, and they did. So there's a chance I could get the farming pet. I might look into, I know there's, like, certain patches that have a better chance for the pet, so maybe I'll start doing, like, I, I feel like I've heard Belladonna Seeds is a, is a, a nice one for... Uh, pet chance so maybe i'll start having a stack of those if i'm bored to do but i don't plan on getting too too much post 99 farming xp although i will be getting some today well last night at work i managed to have just enough time on my break to do one run of uh tithe farm and that got me enough points to buy the gricolers can for 200 so now we just need 250 more points to get the herb sack and we only have 180k farming XP, so the next time you see me uh, will be for 99 farming. Oh, I have to take some seeds too. I mentioned it before, uh, but if you don't know, the Gricolors can, I think, can hold up to a thousand uh, charges of water. Okay, 100% charges. I, I think it is a thousand though, so uh, it'll be definitely be a lot nicer than just having all of these individual watering cans. Uh, when we're doing this and apparently that is enough money to get a loot beam that's kind of hilarious i uh i did my math wrong i thought i was gonna need one more deposit but i'm actually gonna get 99 right now so unfortunately like warning for headphone users i do have to turn back on or i'm going to turn on the music so you have to hear the tithe farm music though i don't hear it at all maybe it's like it stopped if it's in the instance it only plays once it's very annoying. But anyway, deposit the fruit right here. Uh, and that is going to be 99 farming. We did it. We can now get the uh, farming cape from Martin, the master farmer and uh, unlimited spirit trees. Although I'm pretty sure I've already boosted to plant all of the spirit trees. So uh, not a huge deal. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and go grab the uh, the cape right now. It's actually going to be pretty useful, I think. Not I think. Uh, the biggest one is I'm pretty sure it's a 10% increased chance for... Is it just herb yields or is it all um, like yields whenever you're, you're uh, harvesting from farm patches? But anyway, that of course is the big thing I've been waiting to uh, use all of my herb seeds from from my master farmer grind you see i have not an insane amount but a lot i think it's oh i had i had it written down somewhere of like how much it was going to get me to uh let me see if i can see okay i guess i never like i i think it was at least maybe to 91 or 92 that might be a little bit of copium though i know it was not nearly as much as i was was hoping it would be uh, but it still is quite a bit of herb lore xp martin i gotta talk to you dude Mm. 
You get the nice little sound after that too. Go ahead and put it on. Looks very good with the farming outfit. And uh, let's see, uh, where's the where's the emote for this one? I actually don't know what the farming emote is. <laughs> okay, that's actually pretty nice. I like that. <laughs> no, it's uh, nice and simple and to the point. Uh, but yes, so we get the. T Let me look up for sure what it is real quick. Okay, so it is actually only a 5% increased chance to save a yield from herb, not 10%. And it is only herb patches. It's not everything, according to the wiki. Uh, it does also have a teleport to the farming guild, which in my mind at first, I was like, well, we can already get, like, we have a teleport in our POH to the farming guild, you know, and a, a fairy tree. It's not that, that useful, but it actually will be a slightly more efficient. It'll save us a teleport to house whenever we're doing our, our herb runs, because obviously we'll always have the cape to harvest herbs. So rather than having to teleport to the POE, POH and then teleport here, we can just, you know, teleport from our farming cape uh, and, you know, that'll be nice. And it, it actually doesn't unfortunately save an inventory slot because we're going to have to have the arty cloak for the arty herb patch. Uh, but again, I, I don't think we're going to be fighting for inventory space when we're doing herb runs. So uh, it's actually more useful than I originally thought it was going to be. So another 99. Uh, knocked off the list and uh, I'm not gonna definitely like do I don't plan on doing herb runs anytime soon uh, but it's good to know that I can at least you know start maybe I'll start you know whittling down some of the seeds I have because I think if I look in here I still have yeah three other sets of seeds so maybe I should start doing something this is a monumentous occasion more monumentous in fact than getting 99 farming some may say if we go ahead and deposit right here, this is going to be the last run of Tithe Farm. I will most likely, actually there's a very good chance this is the last run I ever do. I guess with leagues and like that, there's always a chance, but you know, I'll never say never. Certainly the last we'll ever do on the UIM, I imagine, because we can now buy the herb sack. Go ahead and buy that new collection log. And just to prove it, if we go to mini games, uh, Tithe Farm, is all green logged yay yay i feel such a sense of pride and accomplishment for having done that uh but yeah uh it actually wasn't that bad i've been doing a couple runs as mentioned at work when i'm on break and it's actually very kind of nice on mobile uh, the fact that you can like like for me now i have to click go back to inventory and then you're like click water and then go to inventory and click again it's just it's some dragging back and forth whereas on mobile you can just you know pretty you can have your two fingers like one finger clicks in your inventory one finger clicks on the plot and you don't really have to move much at all it's a lot more you know just it's a lot it seems a lot more of the same action but it somehow it, it, it's less work overall it feels less intensive i don't know it's very chill but i'm also you know not sad that it's going to be gone for a while so uh, I do have to rearrange some gear real quick, but it is about time to finally do the thing that I said I was going to do. Like, I don't know. Oh, gosh, what was that like over a month ago now? And uh, head to some herbivore. Just did my first herby, and you can see we're at 268. I don't remember ever having done that much on this account, but I know I did some of them. So uh yeah i don't really have a particular goal for this episode i'll see how i'm feeling certainly 92 let's say 9300 is the goal for this episode and we'll, we'll see how i'm feeling after that oh here we are first level from herbivore that's gonna be 92 hunter and if you're curious i think i'm getting probably i'd say on average 140k per hour at herby um i maybe could get like 142 if i'm like full focus but i'm i'm pretty focused but not 100 percent like every single second i'm either harvesting or moving you know there's definitely room for improvement there uh i will say the herb sack is super super nice i've gotten like i think at least 300 kxp around that maybe in total and this is only going to be the second time i'm gonna have to go and uh empty the sack and fill up the looting bag like it's it's super super nice Oh, I apologize for my gruff morning voice and any background noise. There has been construction going on uh, outside for the last week, and that's how I've woken up every day, so I'm extra tired. But we've got 500 herbivore coming in right now, so it is all good. 
Doesn't even feel like it's been that long, but this is going to be 93 Hunter. And it didn't tell us, but this is actually the last unlock you get from Hunter. I just checked. We can now bare hand dragon implings. Not huge, but they do have some nice alks. And I think they have like baby dragon bones noted, which is, you know, chunky prayer XP drop if you get that. So it is a pretty good one to have. But yeah, there is nothing else until 99, unless there's something the wiki doesn't consider important. Uh, so it's just just levels. Although I guess we do herbivore slightly scales with your hunter level, so we get more XP every time we catch the herby. Uh, so like technically, it's a slight increase in XP per hour every level. So it's you know not nothing. It's still a little bit useful, but uh, not not insane. Uh, I will say continued in my ex new experience as a uh, sometimes mobile player. The uh, herbivore built in like to the mobile slash c++ client uh is really good uh it's it's pretty much the exact same as the rune light tracker where it just shows you the path and tells you which ones to highlight uh the only difference is it's there's a couple times whenever you'll get to like a place here where maybe we'll see it where you'll have like two possible things you have to check where it's like oh they could have gone here or here and then sometimes you'll check it and it'll say like oh there's nothing out of the ordinary here like you know check the other one uh, in the mobile client, it never, it just always tells you the one thing that you need to check. And I'm very confused because like I looked it up and I saw some people trying to say that like, oh, there's a rune light plugin that does the same thing. And I think they're talking about like this, the one that, that I'm using right now, the herbivore one, um, which it's again, like 95% the same thing, but it's not quite the same. I'm curious if anyone knows there's a way to get it to be like that. I looked up, I tried to like check the the, the plugins hub, you know, where you can actually search for ones that aren't built into RuneLight to by default. And the only one I saw didn't seem to have that. It just said it was like, oh, it just adds like, you know, like the clue helper arrows to make it even more AFK where you need to run, which I don't really think I need for, you know, being familiar with Herbivore. But if anyone knows, uh, not a huge deal. Again, it's like it, it does not like cut into your XP that much. It just is, you know, annoying where it's like, oh, it's I don't really know. It feels like if it should be possible on that client, then I don't know why it wouldn't be possible in RuneLight. But I do know they are, like, you know, there is some actual, you know, Java versus C++ code differences. So maybe it just comes down to that. Well, I did a little more than I thought I'd be able to at work today. So we're past 750. We're at 753. But uh, I want to try and check in. Like, I think you're going to like 250 is enough to check in. 100 seemed like too often. 250, I think, is a good number. And maybe, I think, updated goal. We got 93, still feeling good. Uh, I want to see if maybe I can get to 1,000 KC this episode. It is technically Thursday morning. I just got off work, but I'll have my normal day Thursday when I wake up. So I'll have to go to bed here in a bit. And then Friday, that's like 100 a day, and then 50 at work over the next two days. I think it's doable. Well, this is just about to be 1,000 herbivore. Um, I'm also, it's going to be very strange, you'll see, uh, I'm super close to getting 94 Hunter, uh, but I also have to go to work in like 10, 15 minutes, and I'd be pushing it real close to try and stay to get a level and make it to work in time, so I'm just not going to worry about that. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do, and at 1,000, maybe get the pet on a nice even number? No, but still, 1,000 herbivore, that's pretty good. Might as well start it because I'm already over here. Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm going to call it for this episode. Uh, lots of strange gains. I mean, first of all, we got 99 farming this episode. It was a long time coming. We, we knew it was going to happen eventually. Uh, but the herb sack done. We green logged Tithe Farm. And then, of course, getting into Herbivore, just about 750. I think I started at like 268 was my number. So just about 750 Herbivore uh, in like a week, week and a half. So that's, that's pretty good, I'd say, honestly. And uh, I'm curious to see how much more I could get next time although i'm definitely going to keep doing herbivore as the main thing uh, it is june 23rd right now and i'm pretty sure the forestry update at least part one is coming out on the 28th i think was the day like next wednesday or whatever so i'd be interested in checking that out i've been trying to you know consider setting up oh xp lamp i've been considering setting up at uh redwoods or just trying to do some you know uh, wood cutting is my AFK for, you know, whenever I need to, because, you know, we're only halfway to 99. We're going to have to do some eventually. Uh, but I've also been like curious to see how forestry is maybe going to shake things up or maybe not shake things up too much. I don't know. Um, there's also going to be some weird things for UIM. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll pull out on checking that out for sure when it comes out. 
sometime. But of course, it's like halfway through next week. So I'm sure you'll see me doing more herbivore the next time you see me. But uh, as always, if you made it to the end of the video, I super, super appreciate it. You are awesome. I hope you had a good time. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.